Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you print your documents, make sure that you have the document properly set up using the Page Setup dialog box. Once this is accomplished, you will want to check the way that your document will print without having to waste paper by actually printing several copies until it is correct. Word provides another view of your document called Print Preview to assist you in this. In Print Preview, you can see how your document will actually print on paper according to the specifications that you've set in the Page Setup dialog box. To view your currently open document in Print Preview, click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Print command. In the section to the right in the Backstage view, you will see various printing options that you have already set within the Page Setup dialog box. To the right of those options, you will see the Print Preview of your document. Note that there are two buttons that appear in the far lower right corner of the Backstage view at this point. You can click and drag the slider icon shown in the zoom slider to increase or decrease the magnification of the Print Preview page display. You can also click the Zoom to Page button to display one full page of the document. Also note that if you are printing multiple pages, you can click the small left and right arrows that appear at the bottom of the Print Preview in order to scroll through the pages that you will print. You can also click directly into the number box and type the page number of the page that you would like to display in the print preview and then press the enter key on your keyboard in order to show it on screen. After you've previewed your document, you can then set any additional printing settings in the same area within the backstage view. This is one of the new enhancements that has been made within Word 2010. In the print section, enter the number of copies that you would like to print into the copy spinner box or simply click the small up and down arrows to enter the total number of copies to print. In the printer section, use the drop down to select the name of the printer to which you want to print the document. In the settings section, use the first drop down to select what you want to print within your document. You can select either print all pages, print selection, print current page, print custom range, or you can print document properties. Note that you would need to select which document properties you wish to print by making the desired choice from the drop down. Also note that you can enter the number of pages to print into the pages text box if you select the print custom range choice. Page ranges can be sequential or non-sequential or a combination. Separate sequential page ranges with the hyphen and non-sequential pages with the comma. If you hold your mouse pointer over the small icon that appears at the right of that text box, you can see examples of how you can enter custom page range references. You can use the next drop down to choose either collated to have a collated printout, or you can select uncollated to have an uncollated printout. The last few drop downs allow you to change any settings that you could also change through the page setup dialog box such as your page orientation, paper type, margins, and scaling. When you're done choosing your printing options, just click the large print button at the top of the print section to begin printing. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.